My superstar panel return. Carol Malone, straight to you with your Greatest Britain nominee, please. Vice Prince William for keeping a dignified silence in the face of Harry's petty, vengeful attacks. He's getting on with the job he was born to do. He's the kind of royal this idiot Harry could never be. Benjamin Busterworth, your nominee. Mine is the comedian Omid Jalili, who has been raising the plight of what's happening in Iran and to the women and making sure that we're not forgetting about it. And, my God, we need to be on the side of those women in Iran right now. Good on him. Really good. good on him. Belinda De Lucy, your nominee. Mine is GB News' very own and much-beloved Eamon Holmes for coming back to our screens and gracing us with his presence after fighting a huge health scare and a fall. He's courageous, fabulous. I'm so pleased he's back. Absolutely. Oh, look, I'm going to go with Eamon Holmes. The great Eamon Holmes, the breakfast TV legend. And didn't it just feel so comfortable this morning turning on the telly and having Eamon there alongside as well? And I have to say, he looked very suave in that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what colour is that suit? He looked suave anyway. I, I certainly couldn't pull it off, let me tell you. Uh, uni and Jackass, time now. Carol Malone, your nominee. Man's obviously Prince Harry, cowardly, whinging, little tattletale, who's riven with jealousy because his brother was born to be king and he wasn't. Yeah, that is what it's about, isn't it? So that, that's, that's the that's shocking thing. thing. He's just so furious yeah. that William was born a couple of years before him. Yeah. Uh, Benjamin Butter with your nominee. Uh, my union jackass is all landlords. There's been the highest rent rise in seven years this year. It's going through the roof. When people have got a cost of living crisis, it's pretty ugly behaviour. But also, businesses across the country are going under because of What about all the good rates. landlords? Well, good landlords wouldn't put the prices up by, seven, by the highest in seven <laughs> years when them. people have got no money. Belinda De Lucy, your nominee? Uh, my jackass is Labour's golden boy, West Streeting, for saying at the weekend that he, his party was considering banning cigarettes, banning the sale of them, banning the smoking of them, to save the NHS, but of course never mentioning obesity and, and, and all the other causes of, of huge cost to the NHS. And BTW, what if, if, if cigarettes are off the menu, what's stopping them from taking alcohol off the menu? And that's not something I'd ever vote for. No, of course. But this is the nanny statism, by the way, uh, which... They are stealing from Jacinda Ardern in New Zealand because she is banning cigarettes and they love her for it. Mm. Ironically, at the same time, she wants to decriminalise marijuana. So go figure with how <laughs> those two things match up. And I think that says it all. And actually, it's a very good point, Melinda, because this is what's coming, by the way, if we get a Keir Starmer prime ministership. And it's why we should all be very worried about it. But of course... Uh, the winner tonight, Carol Malone, <laughs> because Prince Harry already... We're just a few days into the year and he's got to be a serious contender to be named Union Jackass of 2023 after the release of Spare.